World Sports Action presents the official Football League video, Goals Galore. Goals galore, 110 of the best and a few of the worst goals of the season. Let's start in August, the opening day. Neil Webb's wonderful debut for Manchester United. Paul Mortimer's magical volley for Charlton and Stuart Pearce, perfection for the Forest. Watch out too for the bloopers of the month. Let's start at Old Trafford. Webb. Neil Webb! With a classic volley to embroider his first league game for Manchester United. And with just over 10 minutes remaining, this really should shore up the three points on a very big day for the club. So sweetly struck. And that is international class. That's what Manchester United have paid a million and a half pounds for. Hughes. Phelan. Arsenal could lose here by an increasing number. They are now 4 1 down. Brian McClure. won't necessarily tell the story of the game but the United supporters do not care about that they came at a trickle through most of last season but they're coming as a flood now and against the champions themselves McClare made a mess of the penalty but not with the left foot shot high into the top corner Here's Jin. Burrows has gone on ahead of him. They've left Speedy. There he is, David Speedy. And that will win it for Coventry. It was a good cross, but look at the power he got in the header. And it's still Liverpool coming forward. Beardsley, Barnes in acres of space to his left. Nichols available in the middle. He's blown Lake's challenge. He's right at the keeper. Nicole. And there's no doubt about it now. And no doubt about the hero of the moment, Nichols' goal. But Barnes, brilliant as ever. He had half the pitch to run into, but he made the most of it. Strong enough to get past Lake, skillful enough to get past the goalkeeper, and cool enough to pull it back for Nichols. Merson again with some space on that right-hand side. Arsenal beginning to enjoy themselves. They lead, remember, by a goal to nil. And playing the ball about like champions. Dixon. Here's Merson again. That's an interesting ball. Here's Thomas. Now, can he finish it? Oh, yes, he can. Now Nevin taking it on at speed, Whiteside's flick, sharp, back for Nevin again, and Sheedy taking it on the burst, it's a terrific goal at the end of a splendid move. Well, if Palace are going to survive in the top flight, they'll have to get used to sides knocking the ball around like this. It's just glorious stuff from United. McClare on the far post, Hughes missed his kick, Robson, he didn't. Brian Robson has scored. Here's Lee. Walsh Williams making a run through the middle. Oh, and he's found plenty of room too. Paul Williams has lobbed it over Besant. And Charlton have put Chelsea one down here. With ten minutes played. Well, you could have driven a bus through the centre of the Chelsea defence then. 
more than enough room for Williams to exploit. But after that, the finish was of a very high order. Charlton reveling in these closing stages. Williams, Mortimer, was it handball by Williams? Well, Mortimer went on, the game wasn't stopped, and what a shot at the end of it. Well, Chelsea couldn't catch him, and the Charlton players are struggling to reach him now as he sets off in celebration, but that was the key moment. Chelsea will complain that Williams handled, but the referee didn't see it that way, and Mortimer didn't lose his concentration. Right out jumping the better of McGrath, Horn. Villa having trouble getting this away, back in there by Horn again. Case can hit them from there. Oh, I say, marvellous strike from Jimmy Case. Crosby. Darby have got plenty of players back, here's Laws. Hodge, Stuart Pearce trying to make an extra man. For Clough. Oh, for Pierce again. They've carved the way through in wonderful style. 2 1 to Nottingham Forest. There's great rivalry between these two East Midland clubs. Sometimes that produces tension, but on this occasion, it's produced talent of the highest order, really. Nottingham Forest love to pass the ball to feet. And the return pass from Nigel Clough was absolutely perfect. And Pierce did the rest. The season's first blooper comes in that game at Nottingham Forest when Steve Hodge deflects this Derby free kick beyond Steve Sutton to give Derby the lead. A tremendous flick. It gives the keeper no chance at all. So the blooper for Augur, Steve Hodge of Nottingham Forest. In September, Steve McMahon gets a super goal. Mark Hughes on the mark in the Manchester derby. And Wimbledon's Dennis the Menace. Newell won it fairly from Donaghy. And Pat Nevin is onside. Palace is making up the ground. But Pat Nevin has produced a delightful finish. And inside two minutes in the second half, Everton celebrate a goal that was rounded off with real imagination by a player who has that quality in abundance. He just lifted it over the on-rushing Jim Layton. It was audacity produced at top speed. 2-0. Feeling. White side has stayed down. Great play by Mike Newell. That's Nevin's cross, sharp! A goal of real first division pedigree. Nevin, found by Newell and sharp in turn, picked out by the cross. The ball to the far post will always work if it's well delivered and you've got a brave forward on the end of it. And of its type, that's a classic for Everton and for Graham Sharp. Thomas typically has continued his run through the middle. Problems here for Wednesday again. Here is Thomas, number four perhaps. Yes, 4-0 Arsenal. Terrific goal from Thomas. Rush coming deep and he made space for himself by doing that. And now Beardsley against Wright. And Peter Beardsley has got past right, and he's put the ball past Shilton. A terrific goal by Beardsley. Derby will feel they didn't have enough cover at the back. But he's a hard man to legislate for, is Beardsley. Well, it's been a good open match. 
and you rather sense that it's not finished yet. Butterworth. Rosario's the target. There he is. Townsend. Rosario again, setting his sights. Oh, that's a marvellous goal from Robert Rosario. Surely a contender for goal of the season. Clean as a whistle. McMahon though is away here, rush inside him, McMahon chip suckling brilliantly! <laughs> 2 now. 16 minutes now. McMahon raiding from midfield again, and the most precise of lobs. Forrest still rather chasing the game, this is better. Clough finding Parker on that left side, confronted by Dixon. Might not need to go past him, how about that? Roberts. Oh, Dixon is there first, and Kerry Dixon has got the goal this time. Torsvet came and then stopped thinking he couldn't get to the ball. Dixon stuck out a foot, and his persistence pays off because he looped it high over Eric Tortsvet and it dropped over the line into the back of the net. Chelsea have a deserved lead. And the square back line for Tottenham caught out again. Hughes. Beardsmore. Mischievous little player. Got to pick his moment to get the cross in. Now he's wrong footed Hinchcliffe. Hughes with the bicycle kick. It's there. Open last for Manchester United. And yet another brilliant goal by Mark Hughes. He doesn't score tap ins, does he? Every time this man strikes, it's a goal to remember. Five minutes into the second half. And is this the start of a Manchester United comeback? Beersmore it was who unlocked the door and look at that from Hughes it was an exhilarating goal look at the athleticism here from Mark Hughes oh that's a great goal to make his living out of the game. Touched it, the merest of touches, past the advancing Grobola. Segas, well, we're used to this. Good length, Fashionu jumping, here's Cork. And Wise! Well, you can't get any more direct than that. It's a lovely clean strike by Dennis Wise. I think, in fact, Osman may have set it up for him. This month's mistake is a blooper with a difference. Jeff Thomas of Crystal Palace takes a penalty against Liverpool. He blasts the ball into orbit. Mind you, Palace are losing 6-0 at the time and heading for their worst ever league defeat, 9-0 at Anfield. In October, we've a terrific goal from Gaza. Southampton's Rod Wallace wallops Liverpool and David Platt's power for Villa. A spectacular blooper too. We begin with a debut goal for Coventry's Kevin Drinkle. Speedy jumping. Drinkle! Oh, brilliant finish. What a start for Kevin Drinkle. Thomas. Lineker. Thomas. Gascoigne. Tottenham really finding their touch now. Still Gascoigne. And that's 3-1. 
Gascoigne strode through the centre then with real authority after Tottenham had switched the ball around quickly here with some splendid first-time passing. And although Charlton collectively tried to close in on Gascoigne here, they couldn't prevent the shot. Great goal. Good jump. Goddard. Oh, it's unfortunate. Hopkins has lost his feet. And Goddard might score here. He has. Very well taken by Paul Goddard. Hopkins lost his footing at a crucial moment. Goddard looked up at Saunders, but decided to go alone. And it was a good finish. That was Thompson. Waddock was a difficult to try and play but such is Millwall's confidence at the moment that they're attempting those sort of things but Pemberton looking to change the picture here's Wright oh that's magnificent direct dangerous and deadly what a reply by Crystal Palace with Pemberton really setting the tempo with a charging run and the finishing was top class by Ian Wright. A difficult ball to control, but he managed it with the first touch and scored with the second. Stevens charged down by Gray. Fairly and Wright's away. Wright's up with him. Crystal Palace can win it here with Mark Bright. It's a great finish. Millwall hold their heads. There's two and a half minutes left. Horn had absolutely no chance. It's sped into the top corner. And this great pairing, right and then Bright, may have finally eased Crystal Palace ahead at the right time. What a strike. Still a Tissier, he might get a shot in here, no, plays it for Wallace instead. It's another goal! Rodney Wallace! And Southampton are two up. And Liverpool looks stunned. Good work by Letizia. Really tenacious play there, wasn't going to be denied. To Wallace beating Venison and Grovelar. Here's Benali, right out. Wallace. It's a good cross by Wallace. Oh, it's a fine goal by Letizia. Number four for Southampton, and that really is the end for Liverpool. Number three came from a cross by Letizia, met by Wallace, and now Wallace returns that compliment with a lovely cross. And there's Matthew Letizia, a towering header. Grovelar could get to it, but couldn't stop it crossing the line. Oh, it's rolled all the way through to Wegerly. Twisting and turning, and Norwich a little slow to get a challenge in. Priest, Wilson hit it first time, right into the corner.
Look at this break by Barnes now. The flag stays down and the ball is in the net by John Barnes. They are playing some stuff now. A brilliant goal for Liverpool. Finished off in the most superb style by John Barnes. His seventh of the season and his first in five games. They are breaking superbly from these midfield positions. It's another Palace blooper for October, featuring defender Jeff Hopkins against Millwall. Delightful lob from all of 25 yards. Sails over Perry Suckling in the Palace goal and gives Millwall the lead. It's well worth another look. Inch perfect, but sadly into the wrong net. Fortunately, Palace eventually win the game. Coming up in November, Kerry's cracker for Chelsea. A fantastic goal by Falco. A brilliant brace for John Barnes. Tough times actually for the Everton defence without the likes of Ratcliffe and now Watson and no Snowden and no Poynton. It's a real makeshift defence. It faces another big examination here as Gage takes it up this time. Gets it through to Platt. He's got another one. A brilliant goal again by David Platt. The second for Platts and satisfaction for the manager. What a lovely bit of finishing. Sorry, sir. I was going to say superb work by Kevin Gage here. You know, he fought off the tackles, played a little ball, but look at the skill here. Turned inside Keon and slid it past the keeper. I mean, that is quality, that is class. First time Everton have conceded four goals this season. And David Platts has now scored two of them and made one. Cockerell. Oh, and Tottenham have got some room here with Mitchell Thomas. And Gary Mavitt has seen the opportunity to spring forward, but Gascoigne's beaten into the ball. Paul Gascoigne. Oh, that's class. Brilliantly done. Dorigo playing it short instead for his skipper, Roberts. Dixon's the target. And again, Dixon! set up a three-man wall and Paul Wright tries to get past it and does! 2-1 Wright's got both of them for Queen's Park Rangers the first the penalty and the second from a blistering free kick Barker made the gap it was deflected Centered. He's left Whelan. He's drawn Hussein across so that Falco can shoot brilliantly. What a goal! Mark Falco back for Queen's Park Rangers with a splendid strike with plenty of help from Andy Sinton. He set himself on the left foot, did Falco. And it flew into the corner. But Sinton exposed Whelan, who's filling in for the injured nickel at right back. Hussein had to come across. That was why Falco was clear. Daly prepared to run at players again. And they've let him go. Ormondroyd's clear on this left side. He must score, surely. Holding Hendry off, Hodge. Here's Crosby. Clough going to the near post. Clough! Oh, it's a beautiful flick. And Nigel Clough collects his second as Nottingham Forest take a firm grip here at Main Road. And he improvised brilliantly at the near post. Thompson. Oh, he's in trouble here with Rush and holds him. Barnes. A delicate chip, and 
it's in, a superb goal by Barnes. 38 minutes gone, a mistake and a moment of magic have given Liverpool the lead. John Barnes, 10th goal of the season, but it was that mistake in the middle there by the defender Thompson that led to it. Barnes profited and the finish was exquisite. Jackson got himself in all kinds of trouble there with Rush. Little conversation now, who's going to take it? Well, that's something Arsenal don't know. And Lukic would like to know. It's going to be Barnes. Curl brilliantly! What a fabulous free kick goal! What a glorious moment of pure football skill from John Barnes. Whelan runs over it. Barnes, in true Brazilian style, floats it inch perfect wide of Lukic. And Liverpool are two up, Jimmy Greaves. Well, it's something in the game that you can make for as much provision for as you want to. You can practice, you can get your line right, you can do whatever you want for hours on end. But when a flash of brilliance like that comes up, there's nothing anyone can do about it. How fun. You always feel there's danger when Oldham counter-attack. Now Richie, lovely skill. What a good player he is. It's a good ball as well. Now plenty in the middle for the cross here, and there's Ritchie! Oh, a magnificent goal by Andy Ritchie! And Oldham surely now are in the quarterfinals, and the league champions are beaten. What a magnificent goal! He started it, and he finished it in the most impressive style. Ritchie in midfield, look at this ball, played side of the foot, inside the fullback, a smashing ball to Irwin, the cross was superb, and who got there to get on the end of it, Andy Ritchie. Still 1-0 Sheffield Wednesday, it can't be long left now, in fact you can hear the Wednesday fans urging the referee to call it a day, oh here's Atkinson, this is a good run, oh that's a very good finish from Daly and Atkinson, that'll win it for Wednesday. November's blooper is also a Wednesday goal scored by a Forest player. Trying to clear Atkinson's effort, Terry Wilson fires the ball into the roof of his own net. The ball comes back off the post and Wilson can't miss. In December, a double helping of Ian Rush. Lineker gets a fantastic goal at Old Trafford, a speedy special at QPR. Stevenson might get in behind Jason Dodd here. Millwall lead and Paul Stevenson celebrates his recall with a goal. Ratcliffe with the kick. Watson. That'll fall for Sheedy. Watson again! Oh, that's a much better touch! Beardsley suddenly realised he had room and he's putting it to good effect. Peter Beardsley has done it this time. A superb solo goal. Must have been wondering whether it was going to be one of those days when it wouldn't go in for him. So just as they did early in the first half, Liverpool have emphasised a grip on the game with a goal. And this is brilliant from Beardsley. Two-nil, he just was aware that City weren't as close to him as they should have been. And they never got close enough. glanced out by Marsh. Rush now, if 
McMahon can run half the length of the pitch here. Liverpool are in again. He settles for help. He's got it from Rush. And Dibble this time cannot keep him at bay. It all started with Rush for Liverpool here at Main Road. And it may well have finished that way. McMahon led the breakout. And Rush in a duel with Dibble. This time was the winner. Parker chasing back. Might come for Falco. Oh, it's a marvellous goal from Mark Falco. Well, he's making a bit of a habit this season of doing that. Had to adjust quickly, and what a good strike. Ten minutes left. And Manchester City being forced back again. Oh, Barry Horn! has belted the ball beyond Andy Dibble. Whelan. And again, the through ball, catching Chelsea out. Rush this time. Oh, what a magnificent strike by Ian Rush. And Liverpool get their second goal within the space of two minutes. Beautifully finished by Ian Rush, and Besson can't believe it. What a start this is. An almost identical situation, this time Whelan provided the through ball, Chelsea were completely flat, Rush reacted, and the finish was exquisite. Looks as though either Jury or Dorigo will have a crack. It's direct. Jury. Ew, what a goal that was! Oh, what a return for Gordon Jury! beaten by the sheer pace and ferocity of that superb jury free kick wanged in gas going again all sorts of options Lineker's one of them on the left hand side here he is confronted by Ince tries to curl one that's a lovely goal from Gary Lineker. Who says he only scores tap-ins? Had a look, dug it out, and curled a beauty. Right. Oh, it's turned Moncao, no foul given. Bright making a run across to draw the defenders away. A thrilling equaliser for Crystal Palace from Ian Wright here's Smith forward for Speedy oh he won't try one from there surely he has and he scored that's a marvellous goal from David Speedy exactly oh no one of the managers happy here's Daly again Cowens Norman Droid against Bold in the centre Platt Oh, he's done it brilliantly. Wonderful goal. David Platt. A great year it's been for him. And he continues this amazing run. Eight goal, eight games now in the league on this ground in a row in which Platt has scored. And this must be one of the best. It was a brilliant turn then. A terrific technician who lost David O'Leary and buried it past John Lukic. Alan McCleary of Millwall falls under the blooper spotlight this month. On Boxing Day at Spurs, McCleary gives Tottenham an ideal Christmas present. <laughs> Pick of the January bunch includes some cracking goals from Osman, Wallace and Letizia at Southampton. Dixon does it again. And we've got a gem from Jemson of Nottingham Forest. It's Ian Rush, though, leading the way. Alexson. Beaten by Barnes. Finds Beardsley. There could be problems here for Forest. Barnes again. Crossed in again towards Rush. A brilliant goal. And trouble there certainly was. A 
combination of Beardsley, Barnes and Rush was quite irresistible. And Forest find themselves two down. A lovely ball in. The pace of Rush. Well, the ball will run to Olney. And Daly in a position here to exploit his speed. Dorigo trying to make up the ground. Tony Daly! A cracking goal. Daly in full cry. Southampton with a number of options here. Letizia will try it. 1-1. One, one. A lovely goal from Letizia. Case again in attendance. And Cockrell. Osman started a run. Oh, a screamer from Russell Osman. Oh, Southampton strolling now. That's forward for Wallace to chase. Letizier's there with him. There's Letizier. Brilliant. Wallace is in. 4-1. He deserved it. Nicely worked. And it's Osman. Oh, yes, it worked. Absolutely perfectly. Straight from the training ground. Produced in the first division. And Everton had no answer, not even Southall. Russell Osman lurking on the edge with real intent. 1-0 to Southampton. The goal coming after 15 minutes and Southall couldn't even manage a dive. Makes that sort of pass look effortless. It isn't so. Sharp, great knockdown, and Whiteside again, and that's an absolute beauty. A scorer in the last minute of the first half, and now in the first minute of the second half. A double act that delights the Everton travelling supporters. And that was a goal of great simplicity. Sheedy had switched it to the right, Beagry crossed, Sharp guided it down. First time from Whiteside, and it flew in. Goal of real quality, and it's Rock Southampton. Cross from Sansom. Falco! How did he get that in? <laughs> Ronnie Whelan helping to organise the wall. This is perfect for Barnes. We all know what he can do from this sort of distance. Tried it! And scores! John Barnes. Bold is there again. Smith coming from deep. Bold glances it on, and that's Adams! Oh, the captain! Arsenal, to their delight, have finally forced a way through in the North London derby. So, the force of numbers at the corner kick. But what a difficult shot it was to take from Adams and how superbly he managed to manufacture a drive that sped in off the post. It bounced high, he kept the ball down, in it went, 1-0 Arsenal. Here's Dixon. Well, he wants to end any doubts himself. Kerry Dixon has done just that. My word, what a goal. 3-1. And Dixon did it all himself. A terrific run and then a chip of the very highest quality. Fleck to Rosario. Fleck again, might try something from long range. Nope. Oh, can try it from short range. Robert Fleck. Norwich ahead. Good combination. 
Townsend's lovely little touch. Flex finished just inside the post. And Norwich in the lead. Well, you can't say they didn't deserve it. Brilliant one, too. Great finish by Robert Flett. And I think justice has been done. We can't argue with that. Hodge can clear and bends the pass superbly for Crosby. Oh, and there's a man over here. It's Jensen, found by Parker. Sedgley trying to hold him up. Jensen trying to get past him. He's done that. Oh, my word! Terrific goal. And Nottingham Forest have done it again. They have broken the length of the pitch. And Tottenham will have talked about how you can get caught out by them. And still they haven't been able to stop it. But Jemson was a duel here. He slipped Sedgley and then hammered it into the roof of the net. Joe McLaughlin of Charlton receives January's blooper award for diverting this effort from Tony Daly into his own net. The shot's going wide until Big Joe sticks out a boot. Among February's goals, Wimbledon's Alan Cork gets a cracker. Coventry finds Steve Livingston on target and two of Letizia's three against Norwich. First, the Merseyside derby. Venison. Turned to him well by Nicol. Oh, Watson can't get there. Barn stars. Liverpool have scored. And Liverpool show that no matter how many defenders you set out to try and stop them, they can find a route through. And after the build-up on the right with Nicol and Venison, Barnes reached a ball, played behind the defenders. And although Everton hoped for an offside flag, it wasn't forthcoming because Barnes had timed that run brilliantly. And another good ball to McLaren. Wallace in space, a lot of players forward here, Manchester United. Blackmore. A lovely goal. And the man who scored the FA Cup winner at Hereford a week ago has given United the lead. The Stratford end, delighted. And although Manchester City have had so many opportunities, it's United who put theirs away. Wallace playing the ball into the danger area, and Blackmore reacted quicker than anyone. Anderson, Ward is there again. The ball laid back for Brightwell to hit it. Oh, what a great goal by Brightwell! A tremendous goal from the youngster who's only playing because Peter Reid is suspended. And now the City fans can celebrate. An absolute belter laid back to him. Left foot all the way, like an arrow into the top corner. A beauty. 1 1. Walsh for Spurs. Good ball for Lineker. It's got to be three. Gary Lineker kills Norwich off, surely, in the second minute of the second half. What a superb goal it was, clinically simple. Gary Lineker's second of the game, his 17th of the season. Shalako, well, he's got some space, now can he find a cross? Not perhaps what he was looking for, they might still make something of it. Barber, 3-0, Barber the scorer. Two minutes left. Rangers still striving for an equaliser. And Saunders is the way out for Derby. And it might be much more than that. He's got away from Parker. Dean Saunders can settle it here. He's done it. United have battled back well here. 1-1. And they were a goal down. 
Here's Wallace. McLaren on the near post. And Hughes might score. He has a priceless goal from Mark Hughes. Now Sanchez. Looking for Cork. And Hendry has hesitated. Alan Cork's away from him. And Wimbledon have equalised with ten men here. And it was really the work of one of them, Alan Cork. Nicholas. Away again. Chelsea still very much in control. Here's Roberts. Nicely done. And still Roberts. Oh, that's a marvellous goal from Graham Roberts. What were Forrest thinking of? One, two, three or four challenges he skipped past before finding a very good finish. Marshall. It's a good ball as well for Adams. Richie, he needed it back and he gets it back. with him and Miller's got the better of Cowens he's past McGrath he's beaten Spink 3-0 what a day for Wimbledon it's one for Williams to chase picked up by Mortimer now then oh well, this is a good run it'll be a good goal if he can finish it Mortimer Probing that right flank. Oh, he's gone over as White scores, and it's given. Well read by Osman, and now Letizia. Well, he's beautifully balanced for a big man. He's got a lovely feel for the ball, and wow, what a fantastic goal! And Letizia goes on. What a way to complete a hat trick. A night to remember for Matthew Letizia. February's blooper goes to Arsenal's Steve Bold. 14 seconds gone, and Bold blasts an unstoppable shot past John Lukic. The Gunners crash to defeat. <laughs> In March, we've got Hot Shot Sheridan, another dazzler from Tony Daly, and Ian Rush sinking the Saints at Anfield. Wallace. Well done, nicely controlled. Oh, thought about it there. Oh, yes! Rod Wallace! King. Now Sheridan, 
Derby a bit slow to get to him and they've paid the price. What a super signing John Sheridan has been for Ron Atkinson. And he shows his value again here. This is Richardson again. Into Smith. Flicked on towards Campbell. Yes! The smile of a very satisfied young man. And the Arsenal crowd believe that will be one goal of many more in this man's career. And how well he took it. Again, a lovely build-up by Arsenal. And what a great little through ball that was by Smith. Walker couldn't control it. Campbell had the confidence to go for the far post. And Arsenal have three. Oh, legs all over the place there. Villa come away with it. Daly, nice turn. Oh, and he's away. Now, can anybody get near him? Daly's still going. Oh, and Daly has done it again. How Coventry must be wishing they could have played like this in the Littlewoods Cup semi-final. And here's Speedy. Oh, it's another of his specials. 4-0. Crosby. For Laws. Oh, he's hit that brilliantly. 4-2 now. And this, the original unstoppable shot. Finding Beardsley, away on the left, in a lot of space is Barnes, and he's onside. United have been caught out here, will they be punished? They are, by John Barnes. 1-0. Oh, and it's Barker with a free strike. Simon Barker, it flew in. Black, again. We'll try one. Oh, that's a lovely goal. Kingsley Black, 2-0 Luton. It was a lovely, playful moment as the uh, teams ran out for the second half. Jimmy Case gave a shove to his old Liverpool teammate, Phil Thompson, who's now on the Liverpool coaching staff down on the, uh, on the bench. Wallace, that's a great run. Can he match it with a shot? Well, Case might. Oh, it's a corker. He'll treasure that for the rest of his life. Well, I was talking about him being playful at the start of the second half, and he's meant real business once the half has got underway. The inroads from Wallace, who spurned the shot, and Case caught it absolutely right. 2-1 Southampton. Hussein, now Rush. And Liverpool, who were 2-1 down, are 3-2 in front. It'll come for Lineker, lovely turn. Lineker, oh, that's world-class finishing. In March, with one of the season's most controversial and talked-about incidents, Manchester City keeper Andy Dibble has the ball headed out of his hand by Nottingham Forest Gary Crosby, who then scores. Despite protests from City, the goal is allowed to stand. An outrageous piece of pure cheek from Gary Crosby and careless play by Andy Dibble. One of the all-time great bloopers. Now, as the season draws to a close, we've got Mark Robbins ending Villa's title challenge. Tim Breeker's brilliant volley as Luton stay up. But first, a rocket from Ronnie Rosenthal. Barnes. McMahon. That's nicely played by Staunton for Rosenthal. He's got another one! Ronnie Rosenthal. Stewart, what can he do here? Oh, well, that's what he can do. A fabulous goal. 
Paul Stewart, who really has been rehabilitated with Tottenham's recent excellent form. Jensen chasing. And Liverpool, are they wilting? Nigel Jensen! Great work for Forrest, 2-2. Is still with plenty of players forward. Carr, Luton had stepped out, hoping to catch him offside, but he goes on, and that's a marvellous finish from Franz Carr. Manchester United, when they play it off the cuff, as they have been doing in recent games, they're very hard to contain. It's another chance for Robbins, it's another goal for him. does love to run linking with Rosario Rule Fox and Norwich have swept upfield to get a 2-0 lead and it's the Fox-Rosario combination again Cascarino still Cascarino this is a good run and he scored it's found its way in his first goal for Villa it's left for Gray a shot what a goal Andy Gray he runs to the bench to get the applause big day for Luton they know that nothing but a win here at the baseball ground will do breaker good strike oh marvellous goal what a start and the best Arsenal can achieve this season is third place if they win here but Mark Bowen going at them now and beating Lukic Smith a sweet turn and that's the sort of form that Alan Smith has been striving to recreate a great goal Mulby rush and Barnes on the left flank now oh he's done Clark comfortably this could be the hat-trick it is a glorious finish by John Barnes. There we are then, 110 great goals. Our choice for the top spot, this strike by Robert Rosario for Norwich City against Southampton. You won't see a better volley anywhere.